Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Watts Farm. I'm having a really, really unusual issue here this morning. My wondrous Steyr hamster seems to have seized up its axle. Um, well, I noticed coming down from the farm, I, I, I told you guys right at the end of the last episode, I would come down and grab this grass and get it up to our sheep. Um, but check this out. It, it just felt like I was going kind of slow. Yeah. Anything weird about the rear wheels? Uh-huh. I'm not sure that's really the way that's supposed to work. In fact, I gotta tell you, I think she's boogered. So, hmm. We're not exactly flying out the house with money here at the moment. Now, it may be damaged. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what happens when your vehicles wear down after a while? Do you get things like axles seizing up? I somehow have my doubts. First thing I'm going to do here, though, uh, what are we sitting at? 19.7. All right, one way or the other, we will go back to that figure, as this is a no-cheat map. Now, yeah, see, backwards, frontwards, it doesn't matter. That is seized fiercely solid. I tried turning it on. I tried lowering this, raising it. I actually tried dropping off that big ledge up by the farm. I thought, well, <laughs> I know I can't actually physically break the thing. Maybe I can get the wheels loose, but no, no such luck. So, do hope everyone's doing well today. I'm hoping I will have an interesting day, as this is the day they're supposed to deliver my new steering wheel. Looking forward to it. And, uh, let's see how we do here, shall we? <sighs> well, there's no repair option, as there is on a lot of gear, so... I don't see what choice we have. It's bloody broken. So, welcome to any, uh, new viewers here today. Really, really nice of you to, uh, stop by and check the channel out. So I would imagine any of them in that set are going to be pretty much the same thing. And that's all of these. Everyone. What is the uh, capacity? 10,000. Yeah. Half of these. I can't... I, see, I can't help but think that if one of them in this series is broken, they likely all are. But... <sighs> Alright, we'll try this. I mean, we've, we've already lost five grand on the uh, original one. Alright, we are going to leave this guy. Well, we ran blades on the other one. I have no idea what these mean. Okay, with. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's with. Uh, whereas that is. No. So we're going to go with that. What is this? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter, does it? All in all, it's only another $500. So. Let's see if the wheels on the bus go round and round. Okay. I mean, it looks really nice. It's kind of a nicer looking rig than the hamster. Anyway, I know they're basically identical, I think, with a different, uh, a different colored skin. Okay. So if you like the content on the channel, you'd like to subscribe, you can click the little icon in the lower right-hand corner. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to ring the little bell. Whoa! 
as he shoves the trailer hitch completely through the tractor. And uh, that'll let you know when my videos are up and live. No, look at that, eh? Huh. Alright, well, we'd better get full price back for that. I'm not just going to sit here and constantly lose money. We've gone from 19.7 to 14.3 already. Hmm. Well, well. Well, well, well. I'm sorry you guys are all so broken. Well, it was worth a try. I thought maybe it was something... Uh, oh, good, we get every penny back. Okay. I thought it was maybe something with the particular one that I had. Something I'd done, something I'd not done. You know how it goes. Um, yeah, we want to buy a new one now. So we'll do our infamous drive-by and jump out the window. There we go. So. Now... Zoom. So this guy is 31,000, eh? Now it's basically the same beastie. I don't think any of these others, yeah, we can't even run anything bigger than that. Now I've always got this guy, but he's a little bit pricey and he only carries 10,000. So that's kind of screwed. 31k for that, eh? Hmm. Well, here's the deal. I have to pick that freaking grass up. My sheeps need it. So, looks like we're going bucky truck. That's a real shame. Because I'm pretty sure I've used that Steyr hamster before. Now, it may have been a completely different mod. You know what I mean? Like, it may have simply been... Oh, here's a Steyr hamster. Um... Because I would have to... Oh, I didn't add that other vehicle, so getting to it's going to be uh, a wee bit hit and miss. Because, yeah, I'm afraid that entire... Uh, entire mod pack doesn't seem to be working. I mean, oddly enough, that's from the uh, Giant's Hub, and I don't... don't believe it's beta. If anyone else happens to be using that pack, let me know. Or look at your rear wheels and make sure they're spinning. <laughs> because there's a chance that they're not. Alright. We'll go down and grab that new toy in just uno momento. First though, we're going to carry on getting our woolly crunchies tended to. Alright, give me some water. What a what a what a what a whoa. We uh we really don't have much money left, do we? <laughs> That's hardly fair. I should at least get the five grand back I lost on having to trade a broken piece of equipment in. I think that would be fair, but that's alright. We'll go knock a tree or two down and do it that way. Alrighty. You beautiful little woolly crunchies. I'm so sorry to have left you here for hours on end with no food, no water. We will set some of that right momentarily and the rest in just a little beat. Alright, there we go. About a half a trailer's worth. Okie dokie. There's our pallet pickup here on the farm. Oh, I don't know if my ladies need some or not, but we are, after all, doing the deed. We might as well see if they need a, a couple hundred liters or so. 
Oh, I guess a few hundred liters and about 400 something left. Yeah, da, da, da. They require not a drop. And there's really no point putting it in the pig's trough because uh, we're not going to be getting pigs till spring. And it'll just freeze over the winter. There's a chance it'll crack the trough, I suppose, but hopefully not. So we'll just leave that as is, where is. And we will go down and uh, check out our new Bucky Trucky. Yes, indeed. All right. And as I said, unfortunately, it has not yet been uh, added. I forgot when I was sitting there. So, well, actually, we haven't been in it yet, have we? What's going on here? Oh, I got to remember. If my wheels don't work to press M again. Eh, they're a little down on water. Hmm? But we're up to 12 chickens. So that's a good thing. Alright, let's go down there and see if the wheels on the bucky truck go round and round or not. Because uh, I'm really quite disappointed. You know? Quite disappointed indeed. So I was out for an early morning walk, about 5.30 this morning, I guess. Saw a family of deer crossing the road, and saw a couple of rabbits up by the cemetery. Everybody was out enjoying a non-rainy morning. All right, that's a pretty good rendition. Yeah, those seats, they just so comfortable, eh? There's even a place there to just wang your rack right off, I'll tell you, just, ow. Okay. Huh. And a chain-driven unload, eh? All right, well. Oh, look, all the wheels go around. I like the wheels on it, too, eh? Check those out, man. Huh. Quite the treadage. Nice. Let's turn her on. Nice animations. There we go. We've got a whole trailer full of sheep happy. Yes, indeed. Lovely. Let's have a look at the innards. Pretty much what you'd expect. Ooh, I see we went for the deluxe gauge package. <laughs> yes, indeed. Whoops. Mm hmm. Not quite the turning radius you might expect from something of its size. <laughs> Not much left. It's got a good wide pickup range on it, I'll give it that. There we are. 10,000. Now, did it raise the yeah it raises the uh, the little brush as well when it's full so that's good to know that's really good to know here we'll get off the row we won't be dragging the brush up the hill every time we hit a bump 
<laughs> yeah. It's probably got like a 40 horse motor in it. Well, actually, maybe it'll say. Let's have a quick look here. 22 horse. Man, I was being generous. So with a 22 horse motor, it still manages to go 20 something clicks up that hill. Ah, 10,000 liter of grass on board. I wonder how it'll do here. Because this hill's a bit miserable on vehicles. So we get 25 as our normal speed. Oops. Ooh, yeah. He feels it. But still, that's not bad. And right away back up to speed. Cool. I think we'll be happy with this. I think we overpaid a little bit, but you know. I've been accused of being a wee bit on the cheap side from time to time. Oops. Here I am heading for those cows. I don't think so. Here I come, sheep. Fear not. Fear not, indeed. Oops. I don't see nothing. Thank goodness the mirrors work. Oops. I think it's actually that one. There you are, my fine sheepies. That's it, eh? Hey? <laughs> All right. Handles the terrain well. It's your pretty typical lucky truck, in all honesty. Pretty typical indeed. Geez, we got a few vehicles make that same brake noise, eh? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I'll tell ya. I tell ya. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> okay. Sorry, folks, I'll be back in a sec. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah. No, it was one of those that I just had to blow my nose. Otherwise, I'd still be sneezing. I may yet. Okay. No, I will be getting that back out again. I just wanted to make sure we had enough for the sheep. The rest of it we can convert. So, we will trade this in for a tractor and a tether. disturb some grass although uh, I see again they're calling for rain eh? I guess that's the problem when you're this late in the season that could be a problem indeed oh little bookie trucky come on mate all right 
So. Huh. Wonder where my tether is. Let's go more. We can sell that. Bloody right. So that'll be a bit of bucks, eh? Huh. I thought I did sell that. There we go. This be the stuff I seek out. So. I think what we'll do. Don't try this at home, kids. me. There we go. Yeah, let's get you lifted. Lovely. Now let's go grab our tether and we'll flip this off at the store since we're going right into that direction alone anyway. Ooh. actually fit out the door here. I'm sure we can. Well, I guess this must stick out a little further than I think. Eh? Oh, look at this. Oh, well, not really. Hmm, odd. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Okay, so all our critters should be happy for the moment. Why is my time on weird mode again? There we go. Alright, we'll just flip this off. I don't think it was much money. But... Every little bit helps. There you go. Lovely. Ooh, wow. Thank you very much. 6K. I was not expecting that. Well, I feel better about our day now. I do, I do. Woohoo. Alrighty. So what do we got? One row here and then we go across, eh? Okay. Good enough. Alright. Let's uh, get you all out and run. There you go. Lovely. Okay. Spin away, my little friend. Spin away. I 
So last night I downloaded Forza Horizon 4 onto my PC, and I'm pleased to say it actually works. Now if that seems an odd statement, it's because I also own Forza Horizon 3, and although I have played the heck out of it on my Xbox One, I cannot get it to work on my PC. And I know from uh, having looked into it that I am not at all the only one. Is this actually working? It's lowered, it's running. It just doesn't seem to be doing anything, does it? Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, and uh, expect that to uh, pop up on the channel very soon. Man, that was a big download. <laughs> and, uh, of course, like a lot of people, I uh, I run an SSD as my sort of main drive. Now. This, yeah, that's the one that lines up, so it's this one I want. Uh, you know, it's a 500 gig, and that might seem like a lot, but geez, I'll tell you, these days it just isn't. Just isn't at all. But yeah, I was uh, really, really disappointed that I could never get fours and three to run on the PC. So I was a little bit of uh, trepidation when I downloaded four. I didn't even light it up last night after it finished. I just made sure to download the files. Found the shortcut to it to make sure it was uh, there and I'd know how to get to it. And then uh, shut it down for the evening. <laughs> yes, indeed. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, see, this is what it did to me last time. You don't own this field. We're not going to let you tether that grass. Oh, well, let me cut the grass there, but notice it's not letting me tether it. Here, let's get off of that piece. All right, now I'll bet you. No. No. Oh, too bad. Too bad, indeed. Hmm, I have a feeling this might be what I was doing. <laughs> where, oh, where is my mower gone? Where, oh, where can it be? Huh. Absolutely freaking nowhere, apparently. <laughs> well, what have I got here? I got like two or three rows mowed. And then what? Oh, there it is. Man, does it ever blend in? <laughs> I tell you. The white end of the rock and the green end of the trees. Well, well, well. But with that said, as you can see, uh, 
Well, this is kind of going to be my job here for a little bit. So, I think uh, we'll call the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I had uh, I had planned on being... Uh, strangest noises coming in my window today. I had planned on being a little further along, but... Uh, that thing with the wheels on the styre not going round and round, just... Uh, I thought you guys might like to see that. <coughs> And as I said, if any of you are running that pack, it is from the Giants Mod Hub. Uh, if your wheels go round and round, I I'd like to know. <laughs> People requiring minds want to know. So, But there you are. I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did, please uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Do the share, the favorite, all that good stuff. It really helps out the channel. But uh, till next time, well, this has been Species 7. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao.